What's up, Isabel's joining our town? Yeah. You want to start the episode with me going, Isabel's joining our town? Sounds good to me. Okay, sweet. Check it out, guys. Isabel's here. Finally. We, we finally got her, and we got the residence center and, and Crazy Reds in our town today. Wow, guys, you're about three months late on this one. Yeah, sorry! Really, really am. I'm sorry. I feel bad about it. I'm serious. Wouldn't be having this problem if we played it ten years down the road. That's true. That's true. Because then people just wouldn't care. You know what? Let's put a let's put a attack in this series and come back to it in ten years. Okay. I'm down. Well, How about you? 34 and 35. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Uh yeah. Some more uh Animal Crossing. Alright. Justin, I'm gonna do a sync for you. Feel free to keep this in, okay? In fact, Justin, I'm I'm demanding that you keep this in. I'm, I'm gonna go sell some shit. Ooh. Ooh, there's a fossil, and there's a uh, there's Harvey. Yeah, he's just gonna be around until we talk to him. He's he's kind of weird, dude. He's a weird dude. Do we have a ladybug? Uh, we must. We got we gotta have one at this point. Um, let Just me. Look at the, yeah, yeah. We do. oh yeah. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah, bro. Nothing to worry about here. Man, I wish we could record outside. It's so nice outside today. Like, on, on days like today, I wish we could just go outside. There's, like, a nice breeze, too. Yeah, no. Instead of being in this dank, dark room, it'd be nice to be outside with the sun on me, get some vitamin D. Hey, at least it could be worse. We could have fluorescent lighting in this room. Everyone just hears that in the background <laughs> of every recording. <laughs> fluorescent lighting gives me such bad anxiety. Well, it's just uncomfortable. It's like doctor's offices and schools and all that. Yeah, I think it's just like, it's never like, name one good place that has fluorescent lights where you're like, the YMCA. Well, Ryan, I've never been to the YMCA. Well, you said name a place that's nice that has fluorescent lights, and uh, I couldn't think of a better place than the Young Men's Christian Association. Is that what the C? Is it Christians? Isn't it? What, what else would it be? I, I I just never thought about what it could be. I'm gonna look it up. There's a bug on me. What kind? Is it a flea? No. It's just a... Uh, some... What the fuck is that? Young Men's Christian Association. Really? Yep. YMCA. Hey, what? That's you funny. You didn't know that? Well, the, you know, YMCA is known for... Thank you for farting <laughs> right next to me. Uh, YMCA is known, uh, like... The, Ryan, can you not aim that towards me, buddy? Sorry. That's okay, I forgive you. As I was saying, YMCA is known for being uh pretty gay. Well, the song is known for being pretty gay. Ah, fucking roaches, dude. Just, just one. But you killed it. What? What's going on? You killed another human life. Oh, okay. Cool. All those pesky cockroaches are gone. Um... I'm gonna go ahead and just let's go put this in the bank, bro. We have the bank unlocked now. Ooh, spank that shit, dude. God. Slap you also that check shit a little that for nook me. Shop, huh? So I said slap that shit for I, me. I did, I did. Slap it again. You, uh, yeah, that's good. You like that? Yeah. I like it a lot, bro. Hey. God. Angry Joe over here. God, Tabby, sit on my face. Uh, fuck yeah. Um, I've told you about my my fart. My fart fetish Twitter account. Yeah. I uh I keep getting I don't have it signed in, but I keep getting notifications for some reason on my phone for it. Like at least four times a day I'll get a notification. <gasps> Ooh, I see an orchid manis. Yeah, you do. Which we don't have yet in this game. No, we don't. We be careful, Matt. Be careful. Oh, I'm sneaking, bro. This will this will be violet. Oh, okay, here we go, here we go. Doing. Nice. <laughs> Whoa! You're ours now, bitch. Oh wow, dude, that shit just hit me, Ryan. The smell of my you, farts. Uh, yes, that it, it slowly, slowly crept over here. Now it's, now it's here. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, what was I saying right before we saw the orchid manis? Something about how you wanted Tom Nook to sit on your face as you not. Oh, the fart fetish Twitter. Dictionary. Uh, yeah, I get a lot of notifications where it's like, smell these stinkers with like a Twitter link, and I can't click it because if I click it. <laughs> It was take me to Twitter's homepage because I'm not signed in. I don't know why I'm getting notifications for a Twitter account I don't even have signed in on my phone. 
It's not like I it's not like I'm even signed out and it's on my phone. It's not even anywhere on my phone. Like if I go to my Twitter app, it's not even an option to like sign in. It's just not there, but I get four notifications a day from far Twitter accounts. But you sign it up with your tw with that Twitter. Right? No, I like I it's a brand new Twitter account. Yeah, but with what email did you sign it up for? A brand new email. And it gets sent to my phone, just my phone, just like base like just notifications. Oh, wow. Did you try uninstalling Twitter and then reinstalling it? I mean, there's a there's a part of me that kind of likes seeing these notifications. It's pretty funny. I got a uh, so 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 there's no complaint. On yeah, your, on your part. I guess it's more of an observation than a complaint. Uh, some really really good stuff I've been seeing lately. People people wanted to be ripped right up their nose, bro. I'm not gonna ask about why people have a fart fetish because last time we asked about a. Uh, Poop fetish? Poop fetishes. People people gave us some answers that poop is so naughty. It's I, so naughty that you're not supposed to have sex with poop. So it turns me on. My favorite one was it You're was also like, not supposed to have sex with kids. <laughs> Yet, you know, I, I'd like to think a majority of people aren't turned on by children. Well, my favorite thing is uh someone was like, you know, I'm turned on by by feces because uh it really humanizes women, you know? And I'm like, what do you mean women so, shitting so, humanizes you know, all, them? all these fucking novels trying to care, you know, with have good characterization of their female characters just need to remember. You just need a scene of them pooping or someone <laughs> eating their poop. And that will humanize them a, 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 so much more than getting to know about their childhood or yeah. uh, their aspirations or dreams or hobbies. Hey, are you guys writing a short story or a script? That's such a weird argument. And you need to humanize a woman. Women. If you if you want your, your female character to be humanized, have a scene where she's taking a big stinky shit. Boom. There you go, guys. You got it. It sounds like someone who puts women on a pedestal higher than which they should actually put them. And they cannot believe that they a woman as well. is capable of... of they, creating feces and it's so hot when it's so stinky because it's just like whoa dude they they do that gross thing too it's like, what if i ate it that would be so wrong Ooh. and it would humanize them if i ate it if they watched me too <laughs> all right hey cherry what's up no, no judge well slight judgment but <laughs> a little bit you know we're just goofing on you you can like poop it's none of our business we asked yeah, I mean, you can, like, feel feel free to like that stuff. I just Sniffing thought it was funny it, that the argument is that it humanizes women. Playing with women. it. Like, you know, you know a, a toilet as an adult is, is, is like having a sandbox as a kid. Just gives you something to play in every now and then. <laughs> how, you, how you doing, man? Hey, baby, I want to come to my studio. I got a, got a, got a lot of friends, and uh, you can control how they move. And, yeah, it's kind of uh, weird. His island's very, like, creepy. I don't really use it at all. I don't use it either. I think I've been once, and that was it. You can get and that posters, was just though. to get the leather couch. Because if you visit it, you can go get a leather couch. You can get posters, though, of uh, any villager if you have, like, an amiibo card. Ooh. So I have Jam Bet's poster in my house. Ooh, Red's here. <sighs> yeah. I, oh, what, art. Art. Let me go get some fucking art, bro. Let me clean this area up first. Oh, there's so many weeds. Yeah, please. And we can sell it for a good penny. For a pretty penny. Yeah, we can. I wish that, uh, what's his face? Uh, Leaf was here. So we could sell our weeds for way more. Oh man, I just remembered something that's gonna just make your skin crawl. What? Remember when you said you could sell weeds for a hundred bells each? Yeah, I was lying. <laughs> oh, oh, play it off as you were lying, Ryan. No, I'm saying like obviously I was lying then. Nope. And you now, were sincere, and you you. Well, I up. was sincere, but it doesn't change the fact that it was a lie. You can say something with sincerity, but it's a lie. I'm not saying I purposely led you astray. I'm just saying it eventually turned out to be a lie. I lied to you and the fans. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I, I have no room to speak, dude. Remember the great, uh, remember the, remember the cherry incident? The cherry incident? I thought cherry was a new villager. Well, that's just a lot more embarrassing. Yeah, I can't. Because you're, you're an Animal Crossing fanatic and fan, and and you claim to just know everything about the game and you, then, then the you game, go and make a mistake and it just makes it does it doesn't just make you look bad it makes our channel look bad it does make our channel look bad i, I do agree but, but i that. forgive you thank you because it's human error yes and, and, and i really appreciate that you are willing to forgive me after something that makes our company and our business and, and now, us I, as individuals look bad i mean i'm willing to forgive you but you know what i'm not willing to do what forget okay and that's fair that's fair i think <laughs> I hope oh, I shit. see a comment like that. 
on, on a Let's Play series. That's, you know, I'm willing to forget the fact that you missed that herb, but I'm not willing to forget. You know what, like, when Ryan was, was walking by that box and, uh, <laughs> what missed it- What do they sound like? <laughs> that's noob dude. <laughs> yeah, okay. When Ryan from Super Mega missed the red herb in Resident Evil 3, here's the thing. You know what? I'm not mad. I'm willing to, to forget, but I'm not gonna forget. I'm just disappointed. That's all. It's like, thank you, f mom. <laughs> it's like, like that shit when your mom would be like, like, you know what, honey, I'm just disappointed. It's like, it's like, you're like, mom, I'm sorry. It's like, I am too. It's that, it's that, I don't need that fucking vibe from some sixth grader commenting on a video of mine. It's like, thank you. I, 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 there has to be some kid who's just like, are you mad? No, I'm just disappointed. Okay. And then goes, runs off and goes to play with his friends and doesn't really think about it too much. Well, she's not mad. She's disappointed. She'll get over it. She's my mom. What is she going to do? Hold on to it for life? I wish I could have done that, but alas, I have too much uh, love for my mother. You know, I can't. Mm. When I hurt my mom's feelings, that's, oh, man, it's a horrible feeling. I hate it. I hate it so much. Can we get those? Uh, have you ever seen that picture of the two dudes with fedoras like standing with their hands in their pockets and they both have the exact same shirt on that says, uh, cool story, bro. Now go make me a sandwich. I have not. Um, it's it well, maybe Justin could throw it up. Yeah, Justin, throw that up. I think I'm pretty sure that's exactly what it says. But I think maybe you and I, uh, next time we go to a convention, should maybe get those matching fedoras and those matching shirts. <laughs> we should. They have that virgin like stance too. Like that. People joke about the virgin walk and like the virgin stance, but it legitimately is like a real thing. What is the virgin walk? Uh, go on Google Images and oh, fuck! What did you do? I picked something up by accident. It's okay, you can steal it. They don't need it anymore. They already moved in. Yeah, but now I put it back and it's the, the other way around. The virgin walk. There's nothing wrong with being a virgin, by the way. But the, the virgin walk is, is funny to me. There we go. You guys have to do the alpha Chad walk. God damn it. The Chad walk. Let's do that. Like Chad Warden. It's Chad Warden. <laughs> the original Chad. <laughs> Sup, bitches. <laughs> Sup, bitches. It's Chad it's Warden. Chad Warden. <laughs> Why are you with? Shove it up your own ass, gang. <laughs> God, I fucking love Chad Warden. You know what I love? What? The tippy taps of your feet on that bridge. Oh, yeah? Want to yeah. hear it again? Yeah. That is a nice sound effect. I love it so much. Ooh. It even sounds better when you don't have shoes on. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Should I, uh... Should take off those peats, those peaty weedies of yours, you know? Should I take them off? Yeah. Do you know how to take them off? Yeah. You know, open up the... It's this. There we go. Remove what? Now listen to this. Ah. <sighs> Ooh. Especially on the museum floor, too. Yeah, that skin slapping go, that go wood. Go to the museum and run around on its marble floor. Or just run around here. Oh man, that's that's nice. Reminds me of running out, out outdoors barefoot, butt naked. Nice, man. I need to find Red. He's somewhere on the island. I have to talk to him. Uh, otherwise we can't go inside of Wait, his Wait, why isn't he ship. on his boat? Uh you he walks around until you uh There's a balloon. Uh, there is. He walks around until you talk to him, and then you can go on his boat and He's like, talk meet to him. meet me at my fucking boat. Yeah, it's going down. It's going down for it. You remember that song? It's going down. Yeah. Meet me at the mall. It's going, going down. down. Meet me, me in the, the club. Ooh. Gold nugget. Going down. Meet me in the crib. crib. It's, it's going, going down. down. Everywhere. Da, 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 it's, it's going, going down. down. Fuck yeah, bro. You remember that shit? Hell yeah. I've been grind. I've been. I've been grinding to that pup. Pube pubescent sh track, you know, in high school. <laughs> I'd be, be grinding up on my gym teachers. Okay. Meet me in the gym. It's going down. And they chaperoned the Yeah, and then they give prom. me an A because I worked so hard for them. My gym teacher hated me. She fucked, but yet she still posts on my Facebook wall every year a picture of her, uh, every single year when it's my birthday. She she'll posts a picture of her breasts to your <laughs> Facebook wall. Her bare breasts. <laughs> This her her bare sixty five year old breasts on my. <laughs> well, what will she what, what will she post to your Facebook wall? A picture of her dog. So so she she likes making her dogs like personalities. So she set them up in front of a table with like some cake and balloons and stuff. <laughs> and, and she took a picture of them. Happy birthday, man! And then she just puts it in Photoshop and will put my name on it where it's like, Happy birthday! And she'll be like, 
she'll post on my wall and be like, happy birthday from Sid and Mr. Bones. Or some, <laughs> some shit like that. Mr. Bones. I don't know their names, but she does it every single year. And I'm like, like, I'm like, five, I'm like six years out of high school at this point. <laughs> And she still does it every year. Did she do year. it to every student? Or yeah. Or did she just... Really? Well, not every student, but some students, I guess, the ones she remembers. But she didn't like me. She always fucking... Like, I got written up by her. Do you think she, she was, was hard on you because she she liked you, though? She said... Or maybe you know, she's trying to get on the podcast. Oh, yeah. She's like, you know, he's going to be a famous Let's Player slash podcaster one day. So, I, I you know, I'm going to... I'm going to be... I'm going to be tough on him, but it's tough love, you know? Where is Red? Where is old crazy Red? You know, that's what... That's what my girlfriend once said. You know, it's tough love after she cheated on me. She went, hey. Well, sometimes you need that, man. Hey, so she said, eyes. sometimes you need this pain, baby. And I went, you're right. And then I then I kissed her on her forehead because I only kiss her on the lips after she's brushed her teeth at night. <sighs> Dude, I had to I had to break up with my girl. She was acting so weird after I cheated on her. Couldn't stand it. Dude, you know what the best part about not having a boyfriend is? Uh what? There is none. <laughs> because we all need a good boyfriend in our life. That's why I have you. You're a good friend who happens to be a boy in my life. I could say you're my boyfriend because you're my friend and you are a boy. You're definitely my boyfriend. You and I, you and I are definitely boyfriends. Like, there's like, there's no denying that. But for a girl to be your a friend, that's a girl. That's too much. There's no Ooh, girlfriend. No, no, right? no. There's no girlfriends they, here. No girl is truly your friend. They're Just they're the, the they're they're the opposite sex. Just the homies, man. You know, you know. Actually, Steve Harvey put it perfectly. No man uh, can ever actually truly be friends with a woman. Uh, because no matter what, at the end of the day, his motive is to have sex with her. Yes. Uh, so I think Steve Harvey uh, really hit the nail on the head with that argument. I think he needs to rethink about the way he thinks of his family. Because if that's true, then he can't go to a simple dinner with his mother without thinking about slamming her tight puss. I can never be friends with one of my female cousins. You know, <laughs> at the end of the day. Because whenever we're alone, I'm just trying to fuck the shit out of them. Every single word that comes out of my mouth is, is cleverly picked and crafted in the event that one day we might have sex. But there is truth to that statement. Oh, Big Fish! Great movie. <laughs> I haven't will, seen it. I will make that joke every time and you will always respond with haven't seen it. And then I'll say it's good. And then I'll go, I'll have to see it. And you'll be like, yeah, you should. And then I won't have seen it. I feel like that. Now. Just don't do that. <laughs> I feel like that exact conversation has happened 12 times so far. Oh, that's such a rare fish. I've never seen a fish that looks like that, Matthew. It's the old. Or What's it called? Or Ouroboros the fish. Old, the old t the old tear. The old tear fish. The first shop that comes to your mind. Ryan McGee's hardware store. Okay, cool. Thanks. I don't know, like, if it's if that was like associated with you, or if it's my. This is the first thing that came first to your shop. Mind. The fucking leaf blower. Now, you, now you do me. Matt Watson is gay. What What do I sell? I don't know. That's that's for you to figure out. I just know the store's name. Matt Watson's is gay. <laughs> Uh, isn't it crazy? It'll, how the leaf it'll be like right out, out of the, the closet, window? but for only straight straight people. Dude, I love out of the because you're the only gay one that's allowed to be in the store. That sounds like a sweet ass store, dude. <laughs> yeah, there's this guy, and apparently th there's only one gay allowed in the store at a time, and he's that gay. No, like they they have it's a crazy. <laughs> they have a sexuality tester at the you know because you know how they have that thing like oh sexuality tester is easy. All you do is you pull your penis out, and if a guy starts sucking it right away, he's gay. Yeah, that's actually that like basically quickest <laughs> a, way to find out if someone's gay. Put your penis right up to their mouth, and if they suck it, they're gay. A gay man cannot live without dick, much like a vampire cannot live without blood. You know, I had this gay cousin, and uh, oh how gay. Well, so he, gay. Well, we all thought he was gay for a while, uh, but we wanted to test it. So uh, we pulled our penises out and he sucked all of us off until we came. Oh, uh, and then he went, just kidding. You thought you thought that this means that now you guys are gay. Yes. Yeah, so then we had to suck his penis to prove that, that we were straight. Exactly. So it all worked out. The, the, it was the old classic case of the old switcheroo. switcheroo yeah. Oldest, oldest trick in the book. Oh, hey, there he is. There's furry. There's I'm, furry red. There we go. Let's see. Angry Joe never responded to you, right? No, he did not, unfortunately. Does he know who you are? No. Well, do you still follow? I don't him? know. I'm. I feel like he saw what I what I said. So yeah. I, I'm verified on Twitter, and you know, most people will see verified uh, interactions on Twitter. There is that leaf blower. Once, once again, I see him outside the window. Yeah. Fantastic. It is. It is great. 
Should we pay 500,000 bells for this? I'm going to say- uh, We don't have that. I say Wait, no. Wait, what is 500 bells for? Just a random Just painting? a painting. Wait, what? But then he uh, lowers everything down to 5,000. <laughs> Wait, why does why is the first one that much? Uh, it's just uh, it's just like a like a little trick. Yeah, but oh, is it a trick? He, he's swindling you. He but thinks th is it a, is the first one always fake, and that's how you learn that there are fake ones? I don't know. Actually, it might be it might be random. And it's a lesson not when to you, spend your money on that. Shit. When you go onto his boat, uh, you can um hold on. Let me get, let me get to his boat. Am I going the wrong way? Did I already pass it? Oh, some, well, someone turned off the mini map. Well, you can so. turn it back on. Uh, three of the items will be fake and one will be real. Can't go on his boat, though. I thought I could. Bro, I already asked. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go donate this painting. Wait, we have a painting? Yeah, I just bought one. I thought we didn't have enough money. That's only 5,000 bells. Oh, I thought it was... For some reason, it said 498 It did. 000. I told you, he's swindling. Like... Like he says that at first, and then he's like, "Just kidding, it's 5,000. Oh, okay. Because see, it's that you might need thing. to explain that a third time because who knows if I was paying attention. Okay, so I I think I have it though. He says it's five hundred thousand. No, I got it. I got it. I got it. I'm just saying, just in case you need to. Uh, there's a red butterfly. What is that? Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that I think that was in uh, April. <laughs> Get your feet off me, you what? fucking freak! Stop. What? I'm just. I'm just goofing around. Putting his feet on me. I'm not. Stop! I don't like it! I'm not putting my feet yes, on Yes, you are! I don't I'm, like it. I'm just- I'm just playing around with a buddy. Yeah, I, yeah, and I don't- I don't reciprocate the plane, buddy. Oh, you don't- you don't go? like my little peetsy weetsy? No, get, no! Why don't you like my peetsy weetsy? Put some socks on, then we'll talk. Really? Yeah. What if I cover it in toilet paper and then start to- <laughs> That's okay. Even if you have clothes on? Stop! Yes! <laughs> Icky. So you'll you'll watch a video of a grown man eating his own shit, but, but that's not real. But you, one of your best friends putting his toe on, on on your thigh is too much. Yes, having your friend pee into a Popeyes takeout sweet tea bag. Well, you don't, Ryan. You don't need straight. to go spilling secret information. <laughs> I just I'm just trying to I'm trying to uh, gauge the the barometer. I don't want your toenails on me. Uh, they're just my little they're no toenails. It's Don't just touch my me! Stop it! It's my soul! The soul of my feet! Do you think that your soul is, you know, people always wonder what part of your body your soul's in. A lot of people say your eyes, your heart. Maybe it's the answer's right in front of us this whole time. It's your soul. Ch trick question. All of our souls are trapped in a in a in a hard drive somewhere. Trick question? Huh? What, what's the question? The question was, where are people's souls? You you literally just went, you know how people are always like, where where are their souls? In the soul. And yeah, you said that. Then I went, yeah, but it's a it that's that would be a trick question because it's nobody has a soul, it's in a hard drive. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. I, I I see you, Mr. McGee. Well now you see me. You you were you were determined to call me out just a few seconds ago. No, I just didn't understand what you were saying at first, but now I understand. Actually, to do be you honest, speak English? To be honest, I still don't understand do what you were saying. You speak English? I you still, speak the English language? I don't understand what you were saying. Explain it again. I'm good. No, I really, I no, really. No, I don't. I, I don't get paid thirty thousand a month. I'm not a teacher, okay? I. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, we chose the wrong careers, man. If only we could be teachers, we'd make so much more money. I know. God, if only we could lead the the youth to their future jobs and aspirations and and teach them the you know basic knowledge to become a human teachers are so fucking underpaid that's no right. i thought we were i was gonna argue they were underpaid that's what i said sorry i mixed up my words they're definitely overpaid yeah i think we need to cut the pay on teachers yes it was a real painting fuck yeah all right and let's donate the last of these fossils now we got our art section. Well, not yet, but we have to, uh... So many weeds. I know. We need to sell them. No, we'll sell some, them, baby. Get some greasy money from it. Get some, some hot and greasy money. Get, assess a couple fossils. All right. Um... Yes. So, so one of them, at least. Let's see what we got, bro. I've completed, a. Uh, most of my fossils in my game, I think. Yeah, fossils are like the first thing. That's probably why they were like, shit, we gotta put up, put out this DLC with the paintings now because people are finishing that shit quick. 
Some people already have finished uh, aquariums and museums in general. People had finished shit in the first week. How is that possible? Time travel. Yeah, but how much how much of the game do you have to play? A lot. I I think I've I've, I've got seventy hours on mine. I think right now. I don't need. Uh, I need to check that. I don't know how much I'd have. I have. 70, I know I played a shit ton the first like month or so. I have friends that have like double that though. I have friends that have like a hundred forty hours already, and I'm like, damn. Well, they had a hundred forty hours like a month ago. I know people who like would cover their island in mannequins so they could force spawn rocks to be in a specific rock garden they wanted. So like, imagine placing those mannequins that you make. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Ev on every square to force spawn a rock. God damn, takes work. That takes that takes dedication, man. Cause I, I I would do similar things to force spawn like tarantulas and stuff, but not not to that degree. Oh no, like th the tarantulas is just picking stuff up. But going around your whole fucking island and placing a mannequin on every goddamn square, that's fucking exhausting. I mean, you gotta go pick them all up. How long would that take? No, I, actually, I think you can take them all away at once. Cause the cleanup on like. Oh, yeah, the cleanup service. That's right. Bye.